Hello and welcome back to Red Mains. We're in the back room of the shop here. Um, I've got a couple of coats that I just want to talk to you about. You may find it interesting. Since 1933 we have been doing the suit copying service here at Red Main. We still offer the suit copying service and we have our made to measure service and our bespoke service. So this garment here was sent as a donor garment for the suit copying service and we've made a replacement and we've also made another one the guy ordered too. What I'm going to just try to do is point out a couple of the differences between the sample and ours. Um, there may be things that you've never really thought about but it could be useful for you when you're buying something in the future or something to think about. Now just to make things clear when we get a suit to copy we use it as a tool for a guide. We look at pictures of it on you, um, we recommend things, and we look at the style details, and we, we will interpret them in a red main style, which is slightly different. Of course, if you want single breasted, we'll do your single breasted, but our single breasted are perhaps different to your sample. And this is a good example. So let's have a look. This was a donor garment, it's got a few creases in it. It's probably had years of use, so that's fine. I'm not here to criticize this in the slightest. I just want to point out a few things. First and foremost, it's quite a big chap. So both of these garments have been dropped on a mannequin that's got a coat underneath. So the shoulder line, ignore it, it looks a bit square, there's two coats there but we didn't want it all collapsing because he's such a big fellow. Let's just start at the top. First of all, because of the size of the fellow, in my opinion, and it is only my opinion, these lapels are, are too narrow. They're, they're only about three and a quarter inches. I mean, the smallest lapel I'll cut is about three and a half. So, I mean, you know, the, the size of this guy's chest and everything. And there's two reasons for that. One is personal house style. And the second is aesthetically it just doesn't work because you can see how broad it looks and when you put these narrow lapels on it just makes this look broader. And I'm trying to not cut you out of shot but this one of ours believe it or not measures much the same. You could argue a darker colour looks a bit more flattering but this wider lapel which is about three and seven eighths of an inch I think balances this out more okay so you look there look at this sort of boxiness and then this it looks more open this rolls through the top lapel a little bit it's nice and soft um, no complaints very nice ours of course is soft because that's what we do but it's very direct here this really rolls right through to almost the second button combine that with the wide lapel you get more of a masculine v-shape um, people might you know they, they might not like that term or they might not want to have this v-shape but combined with the soft make i think it's a lovely masculine look why not it's a man's suit um there we have so th th there's that big in your face thing another small detail very common it's got really small flaps on it. What harm or good does that do to a coat? Well, it doesn't do it any harm, but to me, it makes it look skimpy, makes it look less expensive. I know these measure an inch and five eighths. Our flaps, just have a look at them. Admittedly, these are slanted. These measure two and a quarter inches, and two and a quarter inches, that extra three eighths, just gives it a bit more richness especially if you're a big man okay so we've got the pocket flaps we've got the opening other little details this has a beautifully sewn lapel hole very neat I mean it is really nicely finished um, but there's no flower loop and there's no flower loop because there is no lapel hole it's it's an ornament ours we have a cut proper inch inch and an eighth lapel hole and there's a flower loop there. It serves a purpose, might not be important to some people, it's important to us. If it's not there and you get invited to a wedding, you'll miss it. This 
nice cuffs nicely finished they're all sham holes that's fine we don't need real holes but for what it's worth we always have two real and two sham okay with horn buttons both have appear to have horn buttons they are both fully canvassed a lot of makers well they, won't, they won't even tell you or suppliers but they'll either half canvas them or even worse they'll fuse them and the result of that when you're purchasing the suit is is something you wouldn't be aware of they both look very clean and very nice it's not till you get five years down the line this you can check it by pulling the fabric away from the facing and you should feel a floating canvas in between which is exactly what this has so in all credit to it it has a full canvas and you always check that down on the bottom ours is exactly the same you can take my word for it but i'm not going to pull it apart interior of the coat very simple just like our bespoke the jets from the lining jets come into the facing this side he does have a security button on there which is you know that's a personal choice by him this other fellow a bit more going on the <coughs> material facings grown on you've got the pockets sewn in it's got a few extra pockets if he's requested the pockets that's great but I'm minded to think this is just off the peg so they just put put a load of pockets in whereas we specifically want to know what you use because we don't want to encourage you to put things in your pockets okay um, another little small detail and this really only adds up in the future if you need to let this out if we revolve ours around we've got a very generous flap here okay and that is a good inch and a quarter inch and a half whereas on this fellow turn it around without it collapsing it's a it's a lot less sort of three quarters of an inch so it's just very skimpy down at the bottom again it's going to make or break a garment but we like whoops I'm falling sliding down we like that little bit of extra generous room on it the main thing is it's an English interpretation this is very much an Italian you're probably curious to what it is it's a Xenia um, very popular brand huge brand um, they don't come cheap I think and off the peg current days prices are about two and a half thousand pounds um, but you can see this tell yourself you know it's very very square here whereas we try to start cutting ours away as soon as we hit the waist it's a different interpretation there are little details that you may or may not notice but when they've been pointed out to you it's like an eye opener I'm gonna have a quick look at the trousers next on the other video below so I hope it's of some interest and as they say on these videos hit the like button do come and follow us on Redmain 1860 on Instagram and subscribe and do whatever you need to do to make us all happy listen thank you for dropping in much appreciated bye bye